Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O sing to the glory of his name. O render him glorious praise. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today, as we come before our Father in heaven, let us call to mind the times that we have failed and ask God for his divine mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, and we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments, are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected to him in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Do not be troubled. And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous with joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish, and he took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name. To all the nations beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the most powerful means of the Immaculate Heart of Mary your well-beloved spouse. Today, we have a scripture, and it was read during the week this week. And it's a beautiful scripture because it focuses on repentance. One of the things that, as a priest, that I have judged, um, what do you, how would you say, that the health of the parish was how many people not come to daily Mass, or how many people are in the seats at Sunday Mass, but how many people are using the Sacrament of Reconciliation? Because in that, you are in the state of grace. You are in the state of grace to receive God's love in any way in which He wants to pour it out to you through the Eucharist, through the anointing of the sick, through these different things. And He says in this line here that the preaching of the Gospel for the repentance of sins would be done in my name. And I think that's very important. If you go to confession of me, you will realize that I use a different um, act of contrition. I use the shortest act of contrition known to man. And this is what I want to teach you today, because this act of contrition, boy, if you get in a car accident or if you have an accident and something's happening, it's one of the things that should be on your lips 
and it's a prayer that should be on your lips all day and it's called the jesus prayer the east use it the eastern priests use it on a rosary it's called the jesus rope 33 beads and they say it over and over again and it's lord jesus christ son of the living god have mercy on me i am a sinner imagine being in a car accident and you may be fading out and saying that prayer calling out to jesus at that very moment and this is why i use it in the confessional so that people know this prayer and are familiar with this prayer because it's very succinct it's very right to the point and it's a prayer that we can memorize at all time i pray that prayer often as the eastern monks do but i think it's important for us to realize that we should be always asking God for mercy. Mother Teresa said that on average, a person sins seven times a day. And we live in a world that is not very holy. There's corporate sin, there's all kinds of things going on in our world that it's hard to stay clean. When you walk through this world, boy, your shoes are gonna get dirty, right? And that's just the reality of living here on earth. But asking God's mercy is not something you should be afraid of because God's mercy is love, it's joy, it's peace, especially when we're freed from our sins. And it allows us to be guilt-free when we walk out and we're doing the things that we do in the world. So I appeal to you, listen to what Jesus says. Again, I spoke these things. Well, let me go to the right passage here. It says, Thus is it, it is written that Christ, the Christ should suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. My brothers and sisters, don't be afraid to repent. It doesn't always have to be in confession. That is the way that we do it as Catholics. But we should repent every single day and thank God for the mercy that he has shown to us. Let us stand and pray. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father, we come before you in praise and thanksgiving. We thank you for hearing us, for we know you always hear us. Consider these needs and we beg you to answer them. Father, we continue to pray for our church. We pray for a holy boldness amongst its bishops and priests. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the sanctity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart in our world, within our church, within our families, and within our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those who come to us in crisis, our military, law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, hospital personnel. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick of our parishes, those in our families. We ask, Lord, for your healing presence upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for you, for your family, your friends, your circle of influence, for those that have asked for our prayers, and especially now, the prayers in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for you, the people of this parish for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, these are our prayers. We ask you to hear them through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and also through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, our Mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Let us pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exalted church. And as you have given her cause for such great joy, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit of perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Lord it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and even pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers and the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, with St. Margaret of Scotland, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us safely offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The disciples recognize the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Please allow me to pray a prayer, spiritual communion for those at home. Lord Jesus Christ, you are present in every tabernacle in the world. You are our salvation, our forgiveness, our peace, our joy. We invite you into our hearts at this moment to flood our woundedness, to flood our lives, to flood our mind and our spirit with your Easter joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may obtain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a few announcements today. Uh, April 24th, please stop at St. Agnes in Amberg if you have the time next Saturday for their beef tip dinner. You can find more information on the bulletin board. I believe a lot of it's going to be takeout, so you can pull up, you can grab a great dinner, um, pay, and then uh, leave and eat at home. Also, I think there's going to be dine-in as well. There will be a trans transition team uh, for activities that will take, re take place regarding preparation of the rectory for the next priest, having a farewell and uh, send-off, um, and a welcoming for new priest. If you would like to help with any of this, please contact the office here and contact Trish. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have a great weekend.